We're in a very dire state of affairs. People staying at home, they're doing their recycling, they're doing what they can, but actually it's time to make government listen. In recent months, you may have seen the issue of climate change hit the streets. There is nothing more important than this right now. Up and down the country, roads have closed, bridges have been blocked and work disrupted. The common thread? An environmental group called Extinction Rebellion. But who are they? And why are they blocking our streets? The International Grassroots Group began action in 2018 in the UK as a response to concerns of slow moving progress on environmental policy. Right now, our children are not safe. Climate change and the crisis, the ecological crisis, is not something that's going to happen to somebody else somewhere else at some time in the future. This is not even a political issue in the sense of wherever you are on the political spectrum, especially if you're a parent, you have a responsibility to the future. Their main aim? To reduce carbon emissions to net zero by 2025 and change in effective policy. And there's lots of ways they want to do that. They want the media to change how they report on the environment. They also want the government on board, though they've previously criticised both. The Direct Action Group believe in non-violent civil disobedience a controversial method of organisation, popular with other pressure groups, and one that can lead to being arrested. It's also holocratic, or decentralised, with member groups who are able to plan semi-autonomous action. Some believe this is what makes them stand out from more established environmental organisations. Recently they've attracted criticism. No sympathy whatsoever. What, what good does it do, working class people trying to get about their life? I've got to go miles, everyone's got to go miles. They think they're going to support. Have a look. The government have also made a statement. 